that I think you definitely have to follow each other through seasons mm. because every season does look different and not even like good or bad season. It's just really growth season. Like I'm like, I've said this before, like I'm not the same woman you met five years ago. I'm not even the same woman you dated two years ago. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm a whole different person now. I like different things. I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I like, I don't, I don't like some things that I did used to like, you get what I mean? So I think it is a measurement of just constantly like learning your partner. Mm. It is. And it's trying because you want to think like, no, I know them already, but like, you always have to keep learning your partner because like, you know, some key things he says, like sometimes it's not like, oh, what I'm not getting is just like I may require more now than I did before. And that's mm. OK, because our goal is to be better and want more for ourselves and things like that. So it's not like, you know, I'm trying to pressure you or, you know, to do, you know, but I am at the same time because that's what that's just looking now my requirements. Like, you know what I mean? So I, I, I love that, you know, they spoke on that because it is true. Like, I think it's true. And I think people. Um, some people are scared of that. Like, you know what I mean? Like asking for more. And I think that's the comfortability. I think that people need to find in themselves, never being ashamed of asking for what you just desire and require. Because sometimes when you don't ask, you are just not going to get it. Closed mouths don't get fed. So if I don't ask for it, I'm not going to get it. But sometimes we get scared to ask because you don't want to, you don't want to re- ask too much out of your partner or, you know, maybe that you don't think they're there yet, or maybe they could be, but you're just not asking. So they don't think you there yet. You know mm. what I mean? It's just all in the conversation. I think it was dope. So I'm not even gonna lie, I feel like I got the total opposite. What did you get? <laughs> so like just listening to it, you yeah. know, especially in today's age, right? Yeah. It's all about self-love. If somebody can't give you what you want, then there's somebody who can. Right. And just hearing like you like, you don't always have to sometimes it's about sharpening your own sharpening yeah. your own sword, not swapping it out for another sword. Right. Or a Uzi, right. like you said, right? And for me, I just think, you know, when he said like it's like we always giving people kudos for like people growing apart and people understand they they just separating. Right. When like it's like, bro, sometimes you just gotta work through it. Like sometimes you gotta yeah. work on yourself first, right. right? Sometimes if you work on yourself, work on the relationship that you do have. Yeah. Instead of looking at everything, everybody else's relationship, yeah. looking at the other grass. Yeah, yeah, that grass is green, but you don't know what they did to to, yeah. to make it that's green. Right. They put some fertilizer in it, they watered mm-hmm. it every day. What you doing with your grass? You or walking all listened. over it. You know what I'm saying? They simply listened. Right. They, they you you walking all over your grass. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? So it's like when I listen to it. I think about us because like we've been here five years mm-hmm. and I'm not going to lie. Like it's in the beginning, look, looking back on it, as crazy as this is going to sound, I'm glad we went through those things then because mm-hmm. it's kind of like fine wine. It's like wine. Yeah. It gets better with time. Mm-hmm. Right. And like in the beginning, it's so easy for people to judge you to say it's toxic. It's not good for you. And although those things were toxic, all those, all although those things wasn't good for us. You know what I'm saying? But we was able to grow through those things because at those times it was really, really, it was 26, you know what I'm saying? But it still was really early in our life. I, I remember uh, I made a comment to you before because I feel like like even when we look back then, because we're five years older than we were then, we were also younger. Yeah, exactly. You know, and um, I remember saying something that I, like, I've always thought to myself, like subconsciously, because I feel like. Uh, every guy I dated, like when I was younger, like I'm like, y'all wouldn't even know if y'all knew who I was now, like, please, like I'm way better of that girl. Right. And I say that because I, what I, what I was trying to say is I always felt like if somebody just waited to see how you grow, because Mm. like sometimes like I am immature or I am emotionally stumped because I'm just maturing, like, Mm. you know what I mean? Or you're just maturing, but because that process doesn't look pleasant all the time or like people don't know how to handle the conflict during that time. It's like, you know, uh uh-uh, uh find somebody else to do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But really, like, we really just growing. That's why I think it's more of a commitment to really growing individually, but also growing with somebody else. And it's not an easy commitment. So I'm not even telling people to just, you know, always pick that route because it's not, you have to really want to do it. Like, right. you can't really, that ain't something that just falls in your lap that you just do. It's, you just got to really want to do it. It's the same, like, with, I think, you know how, Everything in life is a mirror of life itself, if that makes sense. When mm-hmm. I play sports, sports was, could be an analogy and compare it to the life life itself, even in relationships, right? I heard you say this, and it made me think about life, about parenthood. Like, it's really, one thing you always wish that was, was a, a, like a, 
a blueprint. Like you said, mm-hmm. like when, when you had Amaya, it's kind of no like blueprint? they said, just take her, just yeah. figure the it hospital out. Hospital say, yeah, burp her. The ga- huh. Guess what? Make sure she burps. She gets gassy. That's it. Facts. But, <laughs> like that's it. But the same thing with relationships, right? They yeah. say communication, right? Yep. No expectations. Mm-hmm. Bro, how? I don't even know what that looked like. Yeah. I didn't have a two-parent household. I have no idea how that should go. But I go on social media and I have an idea of what it supposed to look like, right? But I don't know what they're going through in, in their home when nobody mm-hmm. is looking, right? So I feel like even with that and like, and this is the dope thing about this podcast because I hope the young people can really hear what we're saying because like, because I was crazy. Yeah, but I was too, and it was some. It was, but it was some. It was some things. It was, I was justified. Say. But, <laughs> I don't know about that, but I I mean, but yeah, like, but even still, I was like, you know, I was immature. Yeah, but you got to be willing to be okay with that. Like, nobody is perfect through every season. So there is just some season that I wasn't the best partner or you weren't the best partner or we weren't the most communicative or I was, I wanted to do this. You wanted to do that. You want to do it your way. I want to do it my way. And it wasn't always best for the relationship. Mm. And people be so scared to be like, nah, like I was fucking up. Like, or I, you know, I just didn't have what I needed at that time to bring to the table or I wasn't as equipped at that moment, but you get equipped along the way. Like Mm. you get equipped, you get the things you need. So you have to be open to be even remotely honest with that because you're just not like people. I feel like, you know what it is about relationships? They humble you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why they humble you because everybody act like, tuh. Never could be me. Couldn't be me. Or no, so that ain't me. It, right? Or I'm so above this. I'm so above that. Or I would never. And guess what? Yeah. And then your partner also always tell you about yourself. And that's mm. the other thing. Like, your partner always going to be like, I don't give a what they told you. You, you listen. You ain't that. Mm-hmm. And then vice versa. You know what I'm saying? And because people don't like to look at the mirror or they are they ha- they lack a lot of self-awareness, like, sometimes we just don't want to hear that. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't want to really... Look at like, damn, maybe I do got some more work to do because we get on this high horse so fast from the high. Somebody see you on social media or outside of your your household. It's like, you're doing a good job. But the whole time, like, you know, you but folding. You ain't do shit you was supposed to do in a month. Like, but, but you same, know. I feel like, but I told you this, right? Yeah. I feel like two things can coexist. Facts, right? Like facts, you can facts. You can ver- very can much both. so be doing really right. good. And your friends can acknowledge it and yeah. everything. But guess what? It... You still can be messing up in one part of your life, and that don't part, mean that exactly. you're messed. That don't mean you're messed up. That don't right. mean that you're, you're just you're, not perfect. You're, yeah, and it's like, and think about it. We're we're multifaceted people, right? Yep. Individuals. Very so tough. think about it like this: You're doing a hell of a job as a mom. You're doing a hell of a job as a father. You're doing a hell of a job as a man or, right. or a woman, a husband, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a wife. You're doing a hell of a job with your job. You're doing a hell of a job taking care of the house. You're doing a hell of a job taking care of your, your pets or whatever the case may be. But I don't know. You might over talk me sometimes so you mm-hmm. might um mm-hmm. get flustered at times or you know what I'm saying you mm-hmm. might be immature and you might talk to girls when you shouldn't right. and it, that doesn't take away from you as a person no, I don't but you should really be able don't. to take the criticism and the critiques of, of to get better like exactly. yo you feel me and I feel like people just take some things too personal and then they don't understand that it's hard to balance all of those things like it is really hard to all right, I'm gonna be a good mom. I'm gonna be a good coworker. I'm gonna be a good bro- girlfriend, boyfriend. I'm gonna be a good friend. I'm gonna be a good daughter. I'm gonna be a good son. It's a lot of duties and a lot of hats. So you're gonna fall short somewhere. And even it doesn't those, even matter. Even you're if, gonna and, fall short. Even if you, like just because I don't know you forgot a uh, a date a, a date on a schedule for the practice or something that doesn't take away from your motherhood or your yeah. parenthood. Like yeah. bro, you a great parent because of. Everything that the way you life at now. Be life in. You get what I'm saying? And life be whooping ass, actually. Exactly. Don't even be life in. Yes. Life will literally square you the fuck up. Like, facts. That's why I think, just from the clip, I'm like, I yeah. thought it was dope because it is. we always, and it's nothing wrong with loving yourself. But a part of loving yourself is acknowledging that, you know what? Self-awareness. Yeah. You know what? I, I got some things to work on. Mm-hmm. And somebody was asking me the other day, like, yo, when y'all split up or whatever the case may be, like, what was you doing? Things like that. Or well, how did y'all go so long and stuff like that? And I'm like, I'm not going to lie, bro. I think the easiest part was because we both understood that we had some work to do. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it was yeah. like, it wasn't like, yeah. Jay is just an a idiot and he's just messing up, messing yeah. up. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I was confident to say, I feel like yeah. both of us understood we had a role right. to play in what we right, like, right, the, right, the, right. The, like the nonsense, the yeah, toxicity. Yeah, like me? it was you. Yeah, you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> you know? So it was, that was easy we were for able us to, to see that. Yeah, so it was easy for us to keep to hold on to each yeah. other because it's like. 
But I think that's so phenomenal. And mm. I just want to pat us on the back for that because it's not com- as common as people make it seem. It's actually really hard to have a little self-awareness and to just simply be like, nah, I got some work to do. And, you know, a lot of people, and I've been guilty of it too, so I'm not talking at people. I'm talking to us as a unison. Talking with sometimes, we, we yeah, together. Like sometimes it is easy to get lost in, like, the victim mentality. It's mm. super easy to be like, nah, this was, because some things just hurt. So when your feelings are hurt, you're really not trying to hear like what part you played. It's just like, no, that hurt me. How could you? Why would you? Who does that? Mm. But it doesn't really highlight, damn, what part did I play that I gave off the energy that this was tolerated, accepted, or we can be here? Like what what part did I play in that? Or where did I? And it's not that sometimes you're not just done wrong because that happens too. But sometimes there is a part you play, whether you whether you accepted some behaviors before that led to that, them red flags, or just that you stayed longer than you should have. It just mm. could be multiple things, but you still play a part. And you have to sometimes just take some accountability. Like, you know what? I'm going to be re- more responsible for me and the things I do and the things I allow. And, you know, if you do better, you get better. It's, it's really an attraction thing. So, you know. No, f- 